saxophone or the sax for short we're going to learn how to put it together how to start playing the saxophone and the very first notes that we learn on the saxophone so the saxophone is just in a few sections you've got the main body here with the keys running down it you have the neck of the saxophone and you have the mouthpiece now with the mouthpiece you have the actual mouthpiece and you need to have a reed so your reed has got a bumpy side and a flat side. You put it in your mouth like that, so the bumpy side is on top and the flat side is in the bottom. And we're going to suck it like a lollipop, make it nice and soft and wet so we can play with it easily. Pretend it's orange or chocolate or strawberry. And once it's nice and wet, we're going to attach the flat side of the reed to the mouthpiece. Now we don't want the reed poking over the top, and we definitely don't want the reed all the way down. We want a tiny gap, like a mouse's whisker, like that. And then we're going to attach the ligature to keep it all in place. Now your ligature has got a big section and a smaller section at the top. It's the big bit we want to put on first and we're going to slide it all the way down over the mouthpiece and the reed until it comes down to the bumpy part of the reed, not on that thin part. And we're going to just tighten it a little bit. Not too much, we still need to have the reed and the mouthpiece with a gap in the middle because that's where it vibrates and that's how we produce the sound. So don't tighten it too much, otherwise it will be impossible to get a sound out of it. And then we need to put the neck of the saxophone onto the main body of the saxophone. Now the saxophone at the back has got this little rod and we need to make sure that the hook on the neck of the saxophone goes over the top like so. And then we can tighten it up. We've given a sling. Now the purpose of a sling is to support the weight of the saxophone. The saxophone is actually quite a heavy instrument to play without a sling. So you need to just pop it on your neck and then with the hook of the sling, you attach it into the ring at the back of the saxophone. So once you've attached the sling to the saxophone, you need to put it, let me just turn around a bit, at such a height that it will pop into your mouth. You're not going to stoop down to the mouthpiece or reach up for the mouthpiece. It should be there just to pop into your mouth. So as you can see, this is slightly too low. So I'm going to adjust the height of the sling so that it pops into my mouth. So the first three notes that we learn on the sax are B, A, G, spells out back. The way we play a B, our first note, is we take our right thumb and we put it under the hook on the saxophone. We don't do anything with these fingers for now, we just let them hover over these white pearls. Then with your left thumb, on the back of your saxophone, you should have a button that doesn't actually move. Mine's black, it can be gold. Just put your thumb on there, just rest it on there. That's just purely for resting the thumb. And then with your first finger, your index finger, you'll put it on that first pearl there. Like that, the first large pearl. Okay, the way we play the saxophone is we put the mouthpiece in our mouth but we need to make sure that our lip covers the bottom teeth, like that, and then we bite onto the mouthpiece and zip up the rest of the mouth. This is our note B. A is the next large pearl down on the saxophone. So two fingers down now to play our A. that last large pearl down there, G. And B, A, G. And good luck with your learning.